it seems to me with the plunging disinflation expectations, full disclosure, Blanche Flower predicted this, that the degrees of freedom of all central bankers are narrowing very quickly. How quickly are their, cho are their choices shrinking down? Well, pretty quickly. Uh, I've said to you many times over the last two or three years, I think the Fed made mistakes. And when you make mistakes, that can have a really big repercussion later. So there's a credibility gap, if you like, between what the Fed's been saying and what the markets think. And when you get to turning points, suddenly things change. So look back to 2008 and what happened there. I think, I think the, the issue right now is it looks like a turning point, looks like driven by macro error, looks like a slowing global economy with trade wars going on, uh, slowing in China and is Germany it, and elsewhere. Is, so this all, is, is the sum of all this, including Deutsche Bank this morning, and yeah. it could be another bank tomorrow, that we are unable to retire failure like we used to do in crises? Uh, yes. I mean, the story I've always thought, really, in the last decade or so, this is the second great financial crisis. The first one being the Great Crash. Here we have this enormous crisis. It's gone on for a very long time. Keynes warned about what I could call the long dragging conditions of semi slump. So here we are. The world from 1945 <clears throat> to 2008 is gone. We're in a new world. And people say to me, oh, when the Fed was in 